Hi, I'm Tom with Stock Navigator. If you have been following me on YouTube, every single day, I post a breakdown of my daily trading results to my YouTube channel so that people can learn to trade the same way I do. That method is my extra daily income. Today, I'm going to show you how to swing trade and make even bigger profit. Swing trading is a short-term trading method that can be used to trade stock or future. Swing trading position typically will last from a few days to a few weeks or a few months. Swing trading is actually one of the best trading style for the beginning trader to get your feet wet, but it still offers significant profit potential for intermediate and advanced trader. The goal of swing trading is to identify the overall trend and then capture the gains within the trend. In Stock Navigator, we use a modern technical analysis based on crowd psychology and pattern recognition combined with the trend definition so you can read and understand the chart to take advantage of the current trend. Most swing traders work with the main trend of the chart. If the stock is in uptrend, the trader will go along that stock or buy in share, call option, or future contract. If the overall trend is down, then the trader could short the share or future contract or buy put option. The first key to successful swing trading is picking the right stock. The best candidate are lack cap stock, or you can find the most actively traded stock on the major index. Next, I'm going to show you a couple of checks so that you can see how our members in our live trading room study and execute the swing trade by using Stock Navigator's expert swing trading strategy. All right, so let's take a look on the chat. As you can see here, we have the chat I bring up here, they call a Tesla. So first of all, you know, in order to uh, uh, do swing trade successfully, you have to identify the trend. So the market is go downtrend, you can see this is the downtrend. Okay, you can draw the line here, this is called downtrend. And then when the market go up, you see the uptrend line, they call uptrend. And the market go down, it's downtrend. So you can short the market in the downtrend. And then the next thing is uh, you have to stay with the trend, okay? That you hear the term that the people say, trend is your friend until it bend, okay? So when it's uptrend, you stick with the uptrend. When it's downtrend, the people will continue to short it until it, they be able to stabilize and break out the downtrend line so that they can revert and go back up. So that's where it, it's an uptrend, you buy at the dip, you continue to buy at the dip, okay? That's how you trade. When the market in downtrend, you short it on the tip. That's why you keep shorting it. The next thing is you have to understand the market cycle. The market movements reflect mass human psychology. This movement from pattern that predict the market behavior. When the market behavior looks similar to the various scale of resolution, it's just to be fractal. The fractal nature of the market means that the pattern repeat themselves in different time frame. So that's why you need to know how to use a multiple time frame analysis to understand the market cycle. And the next thing is you have to be able to identify the buy zone and sell zone. You put the market that they, they remember the history, what happened into the level. So when the market is coming down, they go to the buy zone, and then you have to know how to identify the buy zone. So when they hit to the buy zone, the market will revert and then change the direction. Okay, so that's why you have to identify the buy zone and those sell zone ahead of time before you get into the trade. And the next thing here is you have to manage your trade to get in with low risk and get out the trade with the last profit potential. So let's say that we enter the trade here. You have to see that this is your risk is over here. Your top lot is down below here. So your profit potential is up here. So that's a good trade, okay? So that's why you have to identify those things ahead of the time before you take the trade. And then the last thing is you have to use in the right tool to predict the level of the support and the resistance, okay? The market is never go up 
in one straight line. Okay, the market never go down in one straight line. They will go up, go down. They will continue to do that like a stair step formation. They go up. Okay, they will do like that. So that's why you have to be able to recognize those pattern. And then the key thing here because institution they are using the tool, and you need to know what tool that you need to know so that you can pinpoint the entry and the exit. So let's look at the Tesla. The Tesla here uh, have been going down since beginning of 2019 down to uh, the end of uh, 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 middle of uh, July. And then they go into the buy zone, they stabilize the institution, they come in, they back out the downtrend line here, they put it back up and then they correct. So after they correct and then they go sideways. So sometimes you see the uptrend line, sometimes you see the downtrend line, and then that is the cycle that the market consolidation. So this is a sideways trend. So you have to be patient, wait for them to break out. So when it break out, uh, myself, I took the trade here at $250, as well as my student uh, in our top navigator. We took the trade here and we already preset the target up here for the sales on up here. So after uh, uh, the last couple of days, uh, we already told my student to get out because it hit to the sales on. And then you can look at the chart here and you see that the last couple of days, okay, on Thursday, the, the Tesla and now that they go to have a new cyber truck. And then the people outside, they think that the market, that uh, on the Tesla, they will go much higher because they have a new car, the new product, more income will come in it. That's why the amateur uh, trader, they come in, they think that they go higher, but eventually it's not the case. We already wanting and we already get out in the last couple of days. And then based on this kind of trade, I, I buy 500 share uh, Tesla at 250 and then I sold it at 355. So uh, look at this one here, okay? So we, within 20 uh, trading day, uh, uh, the profit is $105 per share. I bought 500 share. So, so the total that profit is uh, $52,500 for 20 trading day. So that's how you swing trade and make a profit, okay? So, Sometimes you have to stay with the trend. You have to identify the trend. You have to see, recognize the pattern, and then you have to take a trade. You have to minimize uh, your risk, and you have to see your reward, where they go. Don't get me wrong. Tesla is still a good company that you make a good money. But when the price is too extended, you don't want to get into the trade. You want to buy it when it's cheap. You don't want to buy it when it's so expensive. So eventually when it pull back and then we will buy it again. All right. So that one of the top that uh, uh, our student at well at myself successfully trade, uh, do the swing trade and make a good profit. Let me give you a next one. This is another one that we uh, uh, took the trade together uh, in our trading room. So you can see that the, uh, the, the, the trade that the doctor called TTD the market is going up. You see that they make it continue to make it higher, high, low. They turn it uptrend, so they turn it up. When it back the uptrend, the people they can do swing trade, they can short it. But when it hit to the buy zone, and then you the top the stop right here, and then revert. Okay, so when they break out the downtrend line here, they pull up and then they stabilize, and then they come back up again. So we enter the trade at two hundred bucks, and right now we do in the trade. So you see that when you enter the trade, you have to see where is your risk. So this is our top lot. And now the market go up. Now you can move your top lot up. Okay. And then uh, 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 continue to wait until they uh, hit the target and then we get out. Okay. So that's the next one. And then the next top I want to show you is another one that we are uh, doing here. Okay, so this is another talk they call a Roku. The Roku, if you look at the talk here, so uh, it is, when it's downtrend, okay, so you draw the trend line here, if when it's downtrend, you can short the Roku, okay, before, uh, from October 
to the end of 2019. But after they were able to break out, and then they continue to go higher, and the trend is changing here, so the trend will now become uptrend. So you stick with the uptrend, so they go back up, and you can go up here. And then when they break out, it's uptrend here, and people can go short. But when they come down here to the support level, and then they hold them up, they go into our buy zone, and the top to go back up. So we be able to enter this top at $100, so all my students, they get in here $100 right now, we do in the trade, okay? So we do manage our trade, okay, right now, you start moving your stop loss, uh, at least you're up here so that you can lock in the profit and let the profit run until they hit to uh, the target, pro, uh, target zone, okay? The next one here is, uh, okay, so this stock here, uh, we, you see that when you identify the trend, when the market is downtrend like this, okay, so you can stay in the short side, okay, all the way down until they turn around, they go up. But this one, it, you know, some cycle, the market is not identified clearly uptrend or downtrend, it will be sideways trend. So you have to uh, be patient, wait for the trend to build up before you can get in again. So like this stock here, when they come down uh, to the bottom, they stabilize and then they break out the downtrend line here, okay? Now they start make it high, 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 low, and then we'll be able to enter the trade right here at 11.50. And now the stock hit to 220 bucks in a couple of days. So that's why those, those trading like this, you have to be able to identify and do the swing trade and we can make a quick and good profit. Okay, so that's another stop. And then the next one that I want to show you, let's see another stop that you can see here. Okay, so look at this stock here, uh, when it bottom here, okay, and then they start moving back up after they book up and they come down, okay, you can see it continue to go lower so they trend down, but they go right to the out buy zone and then they work out the, the, the down trend line, the market turn around, and then now they start move higher. So we enter the trade right here, and now we let's see how far it will go. So our top lot is right here. So when you enter the trade, you have to see what is your risk, okay, and what your reward. So, and let the trade lay out, okay. So that's a, a simple swing trading method that I would like to show you, okay? So you can make a good profit by trading those uh, uh, swing trade uh, and looking for the good stock and you can make a good profit also. So the key thing here is on the, uh, uh, the, the, the swing trade, first of all, you have to uh, uh, identify uh, and looking for the right stock to trade. Okay, and then uh, and the next thing is you have to align your trade with the overall direction of the market. Okay, so you go long when it's uptrend, you go short when it's in downtrend. Okay, and then you always using multiple time frame analysis so you can see where it, the market is heading to. Okay, never trade in the shorter uh, time frame and then stick with that and you don't see the overall market where they go, okay? And then you have to enter the trade near the beginning of the trend, not the end of the trend, okay? If you short, you short it up here. You don't short it down here. When you go long, you don't go long right here. You go long down below here, okay? So that's how you trade, okay? And the last thing is you have to manage your trade. If something go wrong, if they take you out, that's the way uh, it's supposed to be. And if you are wrong, you are wrong, okay? And then you willing to take the loss and then uh, and, and redo the trade, okay? And looking for something else and looking for the uh, uh, better uh, uh, trade in the future. All right, so the, uh, so thank you for taking time to watch my swing trade method. I hope that you found it helpful. So if you are interested to see more or learn how to understand and trade the financial market, how to make extra daily income, 
please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Or you can check out uh, our website at Stock Navigator uh, so that you can learn more about my strategies. Again, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.